Hey everyone, Assalamu Alaikum. In today's lesson, we are going to discuss one of the most important areas of the business A level 9609 exam, and that is improving analysis. I am Bilal Kurt, and let's talk you through as to how you can structure better answers and better responses in your business. AS or A2 level exam. So first of all, we need to understand as to what analysis really is. And when I talk about analysis, analysis can be given different meanings such as analysis may involve you telling an effect of something on someone, right? Which can also be termed as mentioning the consequence of a particular action and in other words, the reaction of someone to something that is being done by the business or by anyone in context. So this is what analysis means. Most of the times I've seen students to confuse analysis with explanations of sorts. So for example, you're explaining the concept of peace rates in which workers are given payment based on the number of units they produce. And let's say you are explaining it into further detail and giving examples that is not analysis but yes if you are trying to link as to how peace rates is likely to improve motivation then you'll either be mentioning the effect of peace rates on motivation or the consequence or the possible reaction of workers towards being paid through peace rates and that is when you start to enter into the realm of analysis so far so good now let's move on and i'll try to take little steps and develop a higher level of understanding as to how you should structure your answers based on the marking requirements so first of all let's discuss the possible scenarios that we can have and let's try to identify which of the statements involve an underlying analysis so we have case a and there are two statements as you can see the first statement is the business has three warehouses and each warehouse has a large inventory and the other statement is the business has three warehouses and therefore incurs a high storage cost. So if you were to apply the concepts that I have just mentioned, you'll be able to identify that in the next or in the second statement, you can clearly see that the candidate mentions the effect of having these. So we can say that this may be the cause and this may be the effect or the consequence. And you can choose to further develop it if you want as well. And therefore incurs a high storage cost, which might lead to reduced profits. And reduced profits may mean that the business does not have enough money to pay dividends to shareholders, which would lead to shareholders not buying additional shares in the business. And there you go you have a reaction as well so like effects consequences reactions this is what analysis is all about now just for the sake of an example we can refer to case b as well by changing the method of promotion the business could promote products at a larger scale the first statement whereas the next statement states the chosen method of promotion will affect how many products can be promoted now, if you look at both the statements, especially the, the second one, the second one does not, you know, it just leaves you, it just leaves you hanging over the fence because you do not see, you just see a statement, but it's not developed because there is no relation of a cause and an effect. For example, the statement number two does not mention as to how promotion will make products be promoted at a larger scale it just states an 
uh, it just states a possible train of thought for example if i were to give you an example it could be the same as the chosen method of production will affect how many products can be produced and the first statement might be by changing the method of production the business could produce more products at a larger scale so if you see in the first statement by changing the method of promotion this may be analyzed as a cause business could do this or it will lead to this and therefore you can clearly see that there is a consequence or an effect that has been mentioned by the student so we can now conclude and bring us to the realization that analysis is pretty much about you making links to the effects of something on someone or the reactions or the consequences and if you want you can go through case c as well and try to identify let me know in the comments which statement do you think reflects analysis all right let's move on most of the students in my classes whenever i teach they ask me are there any statements or are there any words that we could perhaps use in our answers that can subconsciously or consciously guide us or tell us that okay fine now we are entering the zone of analysis so to make things simpler and easier these are the different connecting words that can actually lead you to the realm and to the arena of analysis such as therefore as a result leads to or so for example a business may choose to introduce better work life balance programs for it for its employees which will lead to which will result in or therefore or as a result of which xyz or the business may choose to introduce more work life balance programs for its employees so the business can benefit from increased motivation and morale and perhaps lower labor turnover in the future so you can use these different statements in your answers to make sure that you do not spend a lot of time on giving unnecessary explanations but rather more focus towards mentioning and forming a chain of effects and consequences there's another exercise that i have for you in store so let's go towards that particular section as well without further ado now this is a paragraph and i would be reading it in front of you and let's see if we can identify the relevant analysis that has been done if the business decides to recruit senior managers internally to create a career path for employees then this will lead to see things have become so easier now then this will lead to lower labor turnover and improved motivation and productivity so from this part we can say or we can conclude that the student has successfully entered into an analyzing his argument right likewise situation b one of the biggest disadvantage one of the biggest advantages my bad of choosing job production will be that the business will be able to charge higher prices due to customized products which will increase revenue however special raw material and labor will be needed as a result the cost of the business will increase so you can clearly see that the effect of something has been mentioned and in this case the effect of job production on the business has been mentioned so this was the second exercise that i wanted to showcase in this video but i may have something more for you in store and that is something very important and that is the focus of analysis now what do i mean by focus the focus of analysis means that the ultimate impact needs to be shown on whom is it the business is it the worker is it the consumer is it the competitor is it the 
Is it the shareholder? Is it the government? There are many questions. I've seen students not scoring good marks just because they missed out on the special focus of analysis. So for example, if I ask you, analyze two methods, analyze two methods that might improve the motivation of workers. Now here, whatever you state would need to be related with how it would improve motivation of the workers. Or for example, if there's another question in which I ask that discuss the impact of continuing with the mining operation on the business on any two stakeholders of the business now for example if i mention local community i would have to make sure that i write about the local community if you continue with the mining process there would be noise pollution there would be disruption to the environment and many people might be might have to be displaced and they may lose their homes and they may may be loss of you know natural habitat which might decrease the standard of living for the local community and may even in some cases possess result in health problems so now if you see if you if you focus i'm building all of my chain of arguments on the particular stakeholder and that is the community not even for once i have mentioned that this might lead to the business losing support from the community no so it's very important for you to decide what is the focus of the analysis to whom do you need to mention the effect on and the reaction of? And once you have correctly identified the focus of analysis, which in most cases would be the business, but be very, very vigilant, especially in paper two. So once you're done with focus of analysis, the third part is what leads you to the developed analysis. And trust me, if you were to learn how to form a chain of analysis, I think it would be easier for you to go into the higher order stage and that is the evaluation, which I'll be inshallah covering in another video if you people would require assistance on evaluation as well. So what do I mean by a chain of analysis? As you can see, a chain of analysis means to first discuss the initial impact of something or the cause the initial the very first stage but many students just stop there for example for example if the government has decided to increase the tax rates for every business tax rates on their profits which is known as the corporation tax the student might mention that okay fine if the business increase, if the government increases its rate of taxes, which are levied on the business's profits, then the profits of the business would decrease. And that's it. And that is it. And that is why you make 10 paragraphs, you may make five paragraphs, you may make 50 paragraphs, but you'll never ascend to level two of analysis. Why? Because you're not forming a chain of analysis. You're not giving the opportunity to the examiner to perhaps determine that yes you are capable of higher order thinking so just do not stop there try to link the initial effect of something to the end effect as well for example for example i have a simple scenario for you a business has introduced new training programs for its staff develop a chain of analysis of how this may affect the business if you remember i was talking about the focus of analysis and i've clearly mentioned here that the final impact needs to be mentioned on the business so for example if this was your initial argument that training programs are introduced you would perhaps need to link it with the final impact and that is which will lead to improve profits for the business so what comes in between you offer training programs and then you are missing two stages and the final stage is given to you which is which will lead to improved profits for the business so what comes in between how do you structure your responses in between so let's go back training programs introduced so if training programs are introduced what would happen how would this help workers what do you think you need to mention that so if training programs are introduced this is likely to help employees gain new skills and knowledge at work all right okay 
सो इफ एम्प्लॉयज गेन न्यू स्किल्स एंड नॉलेज एट वर्क वाई इज दैट अ बेनिफिट सो डू यू रिमेंबर आई टोल्ड यू वन ऑफ द वर्ड्स फॉर एनालिसिस इज सो सो इफ एम्प्लॉयज आर लाइकली टू गेन न्यू स्किल्स एंड नॉलेज एट वर्क सो वॉट वुड हैपन एज अ रिजल्ट वाई इज दैट अ बेनिफिट एज अ रिजल्ट एम्प्लॉयज बिकम मोर प्रोडक्टिव एंड इफेक्टिव एंड देर फॉर which will lead to improve prof- profits for the business now many students they often commit blunders such as they stop here where do they stop they stop at stage 3 why do they not land up with full marks because if you can clearly see that the examiner expects you to mention the final impact on the business but point number 3 does not mention the final impact of, on the business so once you mention point number 4 you are actually completing your chain of analysis let's consider another another example i am going to leave these two examples for you and please let me know in the comments how would you structure your own analysis because it is very important i'll give you a feedback on the comment that you post as well So the second scenario is a business has decided to obtain a large amount of loan to finance the purchase of new machinery. Develop a chain of analysis of how this may affect the shareholders. Now if you focus, I have changed the final impact. I have changed the stakeholder here. I am not talking about the business anymore. I am talking about the shareholders. So you need to make sure that the final impact, the end effect needs to be applied and written in the perspective of your shareholders so your first stage would be let's say for example you amount you obtain a large amount of loan okay so this would result in okay what ever happens here this that would result in and eventually this would result in so let me know in the comments how would you structure your chain of analysis in scenario number 2 and just for additional practice i am going to give you another scenario as well a business has decided to change its production method from batch production to floor production develop a chain of analysis of how this may affect competitors now then again just for the improvement of your understanding and to harness your skills further i have changed the stakeholder in this statement as well so i have given you the first and the fourth response as you can clearly see competitors are losing market share now you need to build a chain of arguments and in which the final impact needs to be this let me know in the comments what will be your line of thoughts and how would you structure your responses for case 2 and case 3 So thank you so much everyone I hope after this video you'll be able to structure your responses in a better light and soon inshallah if you guys would want I would make videos and such lectures for improving evaluation skills as well thank you and happy learning